two types of seasons in Fiji, wet and dry, and we're about to enter the wet season so we can expect a lot of rain. This is also known as cyclone season. A tropical cyclone is when there are sustained winds of more than 34 knots near the centre, and these winds are rotating clockwise. In the northern hemisphere they rotate in the opposite direction. Timo, Nemo, Solo and Joe, and this is our Sailing Yacht Envy. We're currently in Fiji, transforming her from an ex-race boat to a performance family cruiser. So we're coming up to cyclone season again. Our strategy for keeping Envy safe this year is we want to buy a shipping container, um, a 20 foot one, and sit it beneath the back of the boat now that we've removed the rudder. Our plan is pictured here and involves building several cradles shown in blue in this diagram which we will sit the boat in. The aft cradle will be sat on the top side rail of the container. The bulb is in a mini cyclone pit and there are four concrete blocks buried under the ground which the boat and the container will be strapped to. So we will have the longest length of the container running perpendicular to the longest length of Envy. So the container will be this way and Envy will be that way. And we're hoping that this means that, that this will increase the resistance and um, decrease the chance of there being too much movement. We also want it so that we can use it as a workshop um, during this wet and windy season so that Timo can work in the dry and we can keep all our stuff dry and nice and organised. I need one small box, one container for storage of stuff and we're always ready one workshop. So we've looked everywhere for this container. We've looked all over Fiji. Hi, here are Sailing MV, Timo and Nemo and <laughs> Joanna. We're looking for uh, one container, for buy one container. We come here in the commercial port to watch one container have to be loaded out from the ship. It's ready down. We go to see the container. Can be our new workshop plus uh, a new seating for the MV yacht for cyclone season. But we're not having much luck finding one, so it seems to be Sod's law that um, at the moment there's a shortage of containers in the world or at least they are they are not spread out as usual they're lining the streets in LA but there's a shortage in other areas we also would like one that's in good condition because we'd like to be able to use it to ship our stuff um, back to Europe eventually um, so we can keep the boat nice and light and we can ship um, our 16 sails and two bow sprits and um, other equipment but we've not found anything in Fiji that's in good enough condition. Unfortunately, it seems Fiji is often kind of the end of the road for containers. So a lot of the containers that are available here are in pretty bad condition. is not bad, it's the first one they proposed to us. There is one big depression and big punch on the side, but it's uh, quite uh, young for Fiji, it's only eight years. Uh, but in this kind of stuff, what is uh, very important is the door, because it has to be sealed. Uh, and this is the best door we saw, because uh, there is no beginning of uh, corrosion and rust. And the seal to the door is, uh, is quite good. It's, uh, 2000, uh, it's 2013. 
In the end, we arranged a survey for the best one we found to check if it was still seaworthy. Now they go to the damage. Anyway, we don't, we don't buy any more. Nemo and Joanna here for this container. We try to do one survey with uh, one uh, expert for check if the container is in good condition, available for shipping. There's da some damage on the side. Eh? All of the important information about a container is written on the outside of the front doors. On the top right is the container number. This is a bit like the number plate of a car and it's what's used to identify the container. Below this there are the operational markings. The top one, the MGW, is the maximum gross weight and this is usually around 30 tonnes. The second number, the tear weight, is the weight of the empty container. One company explained that the reason their containers were more expensive was because their tear weight is higher. That means that the steel is a better quality. And the maximum cargo weight, net or payload, is the maximum weight that can be packed into the container, which is the maximum gross weight minus the tear weight. The final number, the cubic capacity, is the volume of the container. The most interesting thing for us though is the CSC plate. This tells you if the container is still seaworthy and when the seaworthiness expires. It also tells you when the container was manufactured. New containers are automatically given a seaworthy certificate for the first five years, but after this they'll need to be re-examined every year if they're to be used for shipping. The most important thing... We were told the container would be emptied so that it could be properly inspected. Yeah, it's not empty. He's really repainting many times, eh? Hey, we don't see nothing, guys. Uh, that is one all. Eh? He's already fixed it. You gonna stay inside? Or you gonna go train? No, no, no. I wanna check uh, the most I can. No, no. Yeah. 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 Okay. Ah, you stay inside. Yeah. And... Uh, the, the, the expert stay inside. Why stay inside? In order to be seaworthy, it needs to be wind and water tight. So the surveyor was locked inside to check for any holes. Yeah, you're sure don't die inside. Eh? There, you have air eh? because here there is the minimum. Air. There is one big punch here, be welding. Oh, fuck. We were beginning to change our minds about this container. It didn't look as good as we remembered. You know, I start to to see a little bit bad. Last time, uh, feeling bad. It was the floor that you liked, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, is it seal? Eh? You check how much is seal. Eh? You see the light eh? there, that corner. I think it's not sealed. Part of the door seal had a hole in, and another part was repaired with tape. So it definitely wouldn't pass the seaworthy inspection in its current state. For me, it's not sealed last time. You see, it's a lot of bad. Uh, what I believe. Hey, they don't give the possibility to check here. Eh? The floor is the only thing good. Mm -hmm. The floor is the only thing uh, good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but we don't see uh, the tennis empty. It's also important to check the roof for signs of damage or rust. One day go to lose here. Huh? Maybe with uh, your logistic manager we can do one business. You you need a plenty container, no? We can buy one new. You move over the stuff here in Fiji, and after we we take the container. You know what I mean? Maybe the, that company they can buy. Uh, we can buy one new one. They shipping the stuff here. Mm -hmm. They empty. They yeah. give to us the new one. If it's not broken before, you manage. Yeah, yeah try to shake again. Tell him to get 
Yeah, yeah, there is the generator inside, oh. <laughs> It's also important to check the condition of the floor. The bottom of containers isn't a sheet of corrugated steel like the walls and the roof. Instead, it's just steel frames with wooden boards on top. It's not very bad, but the outside, eh? In the end, we decided this container wasn't in good enough condition for our purpose and they wanted too much money for it, so we have to keep looking. So there's still plenty to do. In the next video, we'll show the cradles we're building to sit the boat in, which will go on top of the container, as well as the concrete blocks we're burying under the ground to attach NB to. The sinking, the drowning, the drown With no feet To add to our worries, our puppy Solo turned up dragging himself through our front garden with what looked like broken front legs. What's happened, Solo? Disaster. We suspect he was hit by a car. Solo, don't move, eh? Now the doctor come. Yeah, in front of the veterinary. Okay, the doctor is here. I give you the first in, uh, injection for uh, making sleeping. Look like he's ready to go. Now we go to do the X-ray, yeah? My soldier. Mm. This one has a crack. Yeah, I see, I see. Two. There. There's one crack. Please click subscribe to help cheer us up. Pieno di sabbia, sei. Thank you. Honey, shame on you. Stop it.